Sometimes people will ask me about playing with their puppy. First of all, this is an eight week old English lab and I would absolutely have a toy. You can see right away how everything wants to go in his mouth. What's important is number one, how we play, there is an etiquette, but also it also is about relationship and we want to enjoy the puppy. So first of all, sometimes you're gonna have some breeds, Rottweilers, Shepherds, uh, Pit Bulls, and even Labs can be growling while they're playing. <laughs> That's not aggression. That's just how they play with another puppy. And keep in mind, you are fulfilling that role in that way. Even though we want to have leadership, this is how they're going to play with another puppy. So you can't expect them to play any differently with you. Do you have a puppy that is pottying in the house, doesn't come when called, chewing up everything? I have helped thousands of dog owners with every challenge that you can think of. And I've created a course that will bring clarity and set you on a successful path to having the relationship with your dog that you've always wanted. This program is for dogs at all stages of life. It is never too late to implement great leadership skills that will put you in the driver's seat no matter what your dog's age. It's never too late to learn how to have a great relationship with your dog. Now, the question was asked, what happens if my puppy, if I'm playing and I'm being very active, what if he targets wrong and gets my hand instead of the item. Well, if my puppy, if I, first of all, if he targets wrong and he goes to bite the toy and then he accidentally grips my hand, I'm just gonna bring the toy back around. But if he leaves the toy to bite my hand on purpose, then that's where I'm gonna take my hands over his little snout right there, roll his, his lips right on his little teeth and say off. And then I'm gonna immediately bring to him the toy and replace what was now his mouth was in, my hand was in his mouth. Now I'm gonna make sure the toy is back in his mouth and I'm gonna show him, don't bite me, but here's the toy. And I'm just gonna redirect him. Or if he, if, if I'm using a smaller toy and he accidentally bites my hand like he just did instead of the toy, I'm gonna get a bigger toy. Cause I'm gonna make sure that I set my puppy up for success. So as he's learning to target, there's plenty to bite that is not me. Till the next lesson, we just thank you so much for listening. We hope you gained some value. And again, your dog will never be what you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. And we just thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.